Welcome back to some more of my Philadelphia Eagles rebuild franchise here on Madden 22. Uh, last time we did a lot of simulating and we absolutely destroyed the New York Giants in uh, the bit of that game we played. I planned on playing the whole game, but we scored 42 points like midway through the second quarter. So I just super sim the rest of it because I figured there's no point uh, to keep going. We pretty much already had won that game at that point. And we won in the end, obviously, 42 to 21. They came back a little bit, but it wasn't even really all that close. Uh, today, though, we will be taking on Washington uh, at that Week 15 game. I wanted to play the home game. That's at Week 15. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, of course, at the end of the last video, there was a breakout player challenge for this game here, and it's from Miles Sanders. I'm not going to play this game, but we will see if he can go up and dev trait. But we're going to start off today doing some scouting, doing some good old scouting. We looked at a couple guys last time as well, like Cameron Wimbley looks sick at left tackle. He could be a player we go with super early in this draft. He looks incredibly good. I'm going to keep looking at running back though. Found a couple pretty good guys down here. Of course, a lot of this is going to depend on the combine grade, but there are some good players down here for sure. Like Lorenzo Wyrick, late first round talent. He could be pretty decent. Donovan Swan looks pretty awesome. A plus carrying, A minus trucking, A minus stiff arm depends on his combine grade. If he has a really good combine grade, like really good 40 time, he could be a player we actually take in the first round. But we are out of scouting points for this week, which is fine. Uh, there's nothing else to really do before this one. I'm not going to do uh, the weekly strategy or anything like that. So let's go into the bye week. Did we take down the Jets? No, 28 to 21. We lost. Let's see if Miles Sanders went up. He did technically, but let's see if he actually went up in dev trait. 8,000 experience for him as well. So that should be about one experience point to correct if he didn't go up properly. So he needed, I think, 150 plus yards or three touchdowns, something like that. We only had 67 rushing yards, so maybe he received the ball well. Yeah, he had 29 rushing yards. He did have 105 yards receiving, though, and I don't believe that is enough. He got really close, though. 105 plus 29, he got so close. He was at 134. He needed 16 more yards. And he would have went up in dev trade. But alas, he did not actually earn this. I don't know why this happens all the time, but it does for some reason. He is back down to an 84 star dev. It kind of sucks, but it's all right. It would have been sick if he could have went up to uh, to superstar for sure. We are five and eight. The Cowboys also lost. So this will be the final episode of the regular season for this one. But the draft is next then, which is pretty awesome. We have a new injury, which is unfortunate. It is Landon Dickerson out for three weeks. So we don't have him for this game, which really does suck. That's rough. That's fine. We will uh, get him back eventually. Hopefully he can uh, get a couple more experience points before the season ends. I'm going to go through this message here about the bye week just to see if it's any different from past Maddens. Yeah, it really isn't. It's the same thing as before. We can just rest. That's fine. I don't really care too much. Get some, uh, get some better injury for the team. Plus two injury. Plus seven morale. All right, I'll take it. And now we can hop into the actual gameplay week of this episode. Into week 15. Also, I want to see if there's a Heisman winner, if that's revealed yet. I don't know if that ever gets revealed, but let's see. Matthew Evans has never looked better than in his last game, working his way into draft discussions. Okay, so Matthew Evans, I guess, is fine. We can go ahead and take a look at him. I don't know who that is. Didn't say a position. I'm just going to go through for a while and see if I can find Matthew Evans. Matthew Evans, a tight end. Oh, he looks really good. Oh, from Florida as well. Just Kyle Pitts once again, it looks like. <laughs> Obviously, not going to be that good, but still, pretty good looking player. We also have 89 staff points, so might as well go ahead and spend those. What are we looking like here? Like, how far do we get down this tree? Not really that far. Let's go with the quarterback boost fully. Get the final piece. Why not? Slows rating regression for one season for one position. I'm going to hold on to that for next year. I don't want to use that right now. And then the offensive or the defensive coordinator? Which one do we want to go down? I'm thinking maybe the offensive coordinator. Get the offensive line a little bit better. Run block power or run block finesse. I guess we'll go through the finesse route. Why not? Only a couple more staff points to spend anyway. But now we can talk about the weekly strategy here against Washington. They have a pretty good team. I think they might have the best team in the NFC East. I mean, the Cowboys are pretty good, I guess, if everybody's fully healthy. But let's go ahead and talk about Washington. Of course, they have Fitz Magic. Also, Antonio Gibson's really good. I think I'm going to go to defend the medium pass. That helped a lot last time against uh, against Daniel Jones. So I'm good with that. Yeah, we also have to look out for uh, Chase Young. For sure. So let's go with the Blitz Counter. Zero injuries once again, which is exactly what you want to see heading into, a, heading into a game, especially a divisional rival game. And uh, I, I guess now we can talk about the Washington roster a bit more in depth. Of course, we talked about a couple guys right there, and I just went to my lineup. That's absolutely not what I wanted to do. 
<laughs> but we talked about a couple of guys on their team. Of course, they have much more than those guys. Washington actually has a pretty good team, I think. Ryan Fitzpatrick, the starting quarterback, 69 speed. I love that. I feel like he might actually be a little bit faster, but 69 speed, perfect for him. He's amazing. Love me some Ryan Fitzpatrick. Antonio Gibson is the running back, though. He is really good. He was incredibly solid last year as a rookie. Great receiving back if he needs to be. Yeah, so he's definitely a player we have to look out for today. He's probably going to get a handful of really nice runs. At fullback, they have Sutton Smith. Terry McLaurin is the number one receiver. Another really good player. Superstar dev for the young man. 92 overall, 95 speed, 97 catching. Terry McLaurin's incredible. Curtis Samuel, equally as fast. Another really good receiver there. Steven Sims, the number three. And of course, they have Rookie Brown here with hidden development trait. Another good player. Not sure how much he's going to play, but one to look out for. At tight end, it's Logan Thomas. Solid tight end there. Charles Leno at left tackle. Eric Flowers at left guard. Chase Rulier at center. Brandon Sheriff is starting at right guard. And then Dennis Kelly at right tackle. Left end is Montez Sweat. Another really good player. Star dev for him. Just one piece of this insane defensive line. Chase Young, the other edge rusher on the team. Superstar dev. Kind of surprised they took away his X factor. That's odd. But all right, Chase Young is incredible. 90 overall for him right now. And then Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, Matthew Ioannidis. Really good defensive lineman. Incredible depth there. Left outside linebacker is Cole Holcomb. Middle linebacker, Jamin Davis. Of course, a rookie out of Kentucky. 91 speed for him. Star dev. Six foot four. He's an incredible user. At right outside linebacker, they have John Bostick. Cornerbacks, Kendall Fuller, William Jackson III, and Jimmy Moreland. Free safety, Cameron Carl. A good rookie from last year. Strong safety, Landon Collins. Can certainly lay the boom if he needs to. What kind of hit power is he working with right now? 92. That's going to be tough. Dustin Hopkins, the kicker. Tress Way, the punter. So Washington does have a good team. They definitely do. I think this is going to be a tough game. Let's hop straight into this one, though, and see if we can uh, potentially snag a win for the last regular season episode of the first season. So let's go ahead. Now, this offense has certainly been clicking lately, but let's see if we can do that against one of the best defenses in the NFL. Going to do my best. On first down, taking a pitch. Did not work out well at all. There's a loss of two. Let's go. Hopefully that's not a sign of what's to come for the rest of this game. Devontae Smith is going to grab that one across the middle of the field. This team's best receiver for sure this year. There's a gain of eight, bringing up third and four. Going to look for Dallas Goddard here, most likely. Or maybe a scramble. I think it's definitely Dallas Goddard. He's going to make that catch. Let's go. Yards after the catch as well for Dallas Goddard. Not bad at all. Trucking over a defender just for good measure. Tyree Jackson, what a grab. He's going to keep going, too. Tyree Jackson picking up that first down. All right. A gain of 11 there for the former quarterback. Oh, Dallas Goddard again is wide open on a drag route. Maybe not wide open, but certainly open enough. Another 11-yard gain. All right. Here go Miles Sanders getting to the next level. Nice job. If we can get past the D-line, I feel like we, we could probably run the ball pretty well today, but that's uh, the hard part for sure. Their D-line is going to be all over the place. Devontae Smith is wide open here. This could be a touchdown. It's going to be, dude. Devontae Smith, the route running ability of this man already is elite. Now, Curtis Samuel was open on the sidelines there, but just was not ready for that at all. And they're losing their starting right tackle. All right, this is incredibly risky. Third down and eight. We're going to blitz. We're going to send a heavy blitz. Let's see if we can get back there to Ryan Fitzpatrick. Going to watch the running back. Tonio Gibson is going to be open. Oh, no, this could be a touchdown. Antonio Gibson, stop running, please. Darius Slay is going to bring him down. Probably not the best play call right there. There's a gain of like 47 for him. Just a really good route there by Antonio Gibson. Of course, he is a, he's a good route runner. Definitely a good route runner for a running back. Terry McLaurin is going to be open, and that's a good tackle for loss there by the returning from injury corner of Vontae Maddox. I worded that really weird, but, you know, he's back playing again. I noticed that before the game started. Figured I'd point it out. I don't know why I had to word it so weirdly, but you know how it goes sometimes. Okay, Ryan Fitzpatrick taking a quarterback draw. Uh, loss of one there. Maybe they still thought they had, like, RG3 or something. I don't know what that was all about. Third and 15, boys. Make a stop. Come on. Start off well on defense here for the home crowd. Isaiah Simmons going to come try to lay the boom. Did not work. Curtis Samuel just too shifty. Down to the 21. They're not picking up the first down, but this uh, should line up a pretty easy field goal. 
Jason Huntley, let's go! Return this for a touchdown. Come on, this hasn't happened all year yet. No, he's gonna get tripped up on his own dude. No way. I was trying to swerve around him. I don't wanna I didn't want to lose any momentum, so I didn't stop sprinting. And I ended up losing momentum anyway. Unfortunate. But still, we have the ball to 25 yard line. Let's go. Excellent kickoff return. We're gonna take off here as well. Oh, that's unfortunate. Only a gain of four. Could have been a lot more, but Deron Payne makes a really nice play. Looks like a pretty easy front to run against right here, so let's go ahead and try that. That's a really good block shed there by uh, Deron Payne. Okay. Not that easy, I guess, when you have all those really good D linemen. But now third and seven. Let's throw Devontae Smith on a slant. Try to find him. He's open right now. He's going to make that catch. He did not pick up the first down, though, I don't believe. Fourth and inches from the two-yard line. We are being aggressive. We are certainly going for this. What a play there by Montez Sweat, dude. He's going to prevent us from getting that first down. That sucks. You know, I don't regret going for that, though. Want to stay, want to stay spicy. You know, want to be interesting. Good play there by Isaiah Simmons, though. On uh, first and ten. Of course, we weren't able to get a safety on the play before that. Unfortunately, Antonio Gibson rushed for like 11 yards or whatever. Let's see if we can keep playing good defense. We're not going to play good defense there at all. <laughs> That's a great run by Antonio Gibson. He's given us quite a bit of trouble today, though. Got to be honest. Going to send a nickel blitz here. See if this gets through. It's not going to get through, and that's Terry McLaurin. Wide open across the middle of the field. A player we should probably cover. That's an amazing play by Avante Maddox. Oh my god, way to jump that route. Avante Maddox comes back, gets a pick six. What a play there. That was man coverage too. He played that beautifully. I feel like this is certainly going to be a run play. Second down and one. Let's blitz and see if we can get back there. It's not going to be a run play. It's a play action. Oh no. All right, he's going to throw it away. So third and one, and Eric Wilson's going down. He gets injured all the time, dude. I don't understand why. I mean, his injury rating is probably horrible. I'm sure that's why. But now third down and one, they can run this, they could pass this, and they are electing to pass it. It's a play action. Player in the flats is going to be wide open. It's a tight end, Logan Thomas. Just no one was over there. Ryan Fitzpatrick found him. That was a really easy completion. And a bruise to stern him there for Eric Wilson. Gotta love it. Jannard Avery's coming in as well. I literally always forget... To make him a defensive end. Okay, after this play, I'll try to sub him out. I don't know how I've forgotten that for so long. But I don't want him playing coverage. Especially against, like, Antonio Gibson. He's a pass rusher. And Antonio Gibson is one of the best route runners at the running back position. That is a horrible matchup for us. <laughs> Alright, I'll take a false start. Push him back a little bit. Second down and 15 now. And hopefully that worked. Hopefully now Alex Singleton comes in uh, whenever Jannard Avery is supposed to. Player in the flats is open, but so was the running back. Okay. Uh, the player in the flats actually wasn't all that open. Did not see Darius Slay there. Good play by big play Slay. Let's go. End of the first quarter as well. 14-3 lead. We're doing a pretty good job here. Of course, uh, a lot of that has to do with Avante Maddox. Kind of going crazy. I love it, though. Ryan Fitzpatrick is taking a shot. I'm going to let the computer handle this one. And that is going to be an incomplete pass. Good job, Darius Slay. I didn't want to screw that one up by using it. <laughs> Tried to step up. Maybe make some make some space there, but Chase Young is there to collapse. And that's going to bring up a third and 13. Okay, so let's look for Dallas Goddard. I think immediately here, maybe Devontae Smith, but looking at Goddard first. No, he's not really that open. I don't want to get safetyed. Try to throw that one to uh, Miles Sanders. At least we got the pass off, because that probably would have been a safety if I'd held onto the ball a little bit longer. That's another interception for Avante Maddox. Let's go. That's a bad throw by Ryan Fitzpatrick, and Maddox is going to make him pay for it immediately. Avante Maddox, dude, let's go. Having a really good game coming back from an injury. There we go. Finally some space for Miles Sanders. Went to lower the shoulder. I do that a lot with him. I feel like his jukes aren't that good. Like, his spin isn't all that strong. So, so I kind of just default to lowering the shoulder. Probably not the best move still, but whatever. Um, it's still going to be a first down, so it's not all bad there. Oh, Jalen Rager was so open. I threw it underneath, though. I should not have done that. I thought there was going to be more traffic on that side. Also, though, Montez Sweat going down. So, I mean, chipping away at the defensive line. Let's go. No, but, uh, yeah, I, I certainly should have thrown that to Jalen Rager. My bad. Going to run the ball here, though. Good blocking. Or at least pretty good blocking. Miles Sanders grabs about five. 
I'm gonna give him six, I guess. And now, third and four. Don't need too much. Quez Watkins on a slant, potentially. Maybe Miles Sanders if nobody goes over there. Nah, Quez Watkins it is. He's gonna make that catch. Pick up a couple extra yards as well. There's ten. Right, Jalen Rager is going to make this catch. I'm going to try to fight for that first down. I think he actually got it. Give it to him. Let's go. First and goal. What a play there by Jalen Rager. Miles Sanders being kind of patient, but actually does not get that touchdown. You got to extend that one, my dude, for sure. That looked like an easy touchdown. Let's just hand it off to him here. This should be really simple. Follow Jason Kelsey. Should get a touchdown. All right, you're not going to really follow Jason Kelsey. It's fine, though. We still got a touchdown. I'll take it. I think we followed uh, Brandon Brooks there. Still not a bad option, of course. So 21 to 3. Playing Washington really well right now. Now this is mainly because of the defense. Like the offense hasn't been bad. They just haven't really done anything crazy. I mean, they're like very slowly moving the ball down the field. Kind of reminded me of like an Alex Smith kind of offense. Speaking of Washington here, of course he played there for a little bit, but reminded me of like an Alex Smith kind of kind of offense. Just checking down pretty constantly, not doing anything crazy, not taking the deep shot. That's the offense I kind of like to run when I have a quarterback who is a pretty low overall. Now, if I had, like, Patrick Mahomes, I'd be gunning it all the time. I just don't. Jalen Hurts is not Patrick Mahomes. As much as I want to believe that, it's not true. That's a sack, though, on first down. Ryan Fitzpatrick going down. Josh Sweat getting back there. I think he's actually leading our team in sacks right now. He hasn't done too much for me on camera, so I guess he's just going crazy in simulation. It's going to be a run play to the outside. Actually, never mind. It's a play action. Who do I cover? Who do I cover? Chose the wrong person. Did not think Antonio Gibson would cut back across the field. Got to be honest. Going to watch you. You're not too open. This could be another sack, and it's absolutely going to be. Just mentioned he's not doing much for me on camera. Now he has two sacks. I guess he heard me. Josh Sweat having a great game so far. His defense is absolutely showing up. I love it. Let's keep it going. You won't throw this, Ryan Fitzpatrick? All right. <laughs> he didn't throw it. That would have been really stupid. And he's a very smart man, so didn't think he'd do that. Third and 19. Just don't let up a first down. Come on. This can't be that hard. That's going to be an incomplete pass to the boundary. Just goes straight out of bounds. I'll take it. Fourth and 19. Great piece of running here by Miles Sanders. Gonna grab that first down and a little bit more. I saw some green grass in front of him and got a little excited. Didn't work out how I thought it was going to. He at least got the first down, though. First and 10 now. Jalen Rager, I think? Maybe? Make this catch. Jalen Rager on the sideline. He does not make the grab. So close. Almost had that toe drag swag or whatever. I think it's a Nate Burleson thing. <laughs> he almost had that. Second and 10, though. Let's run the football. Good blocking. Good enough to pick up about four yards. I'll take that all the time. Quez Watkins is going to make that grab across the middle. I possession caught it. And I think that might be enough for the first. It's not fourth and inches. Okay. All right. What do we do? I think we go for this. I think we absolutely go for this. I am so scared of that defensive line. Oh, my God. I'm going to pass it. Dallas Goddard. It's open. The throw was horrible. Love that. Inaccurate bullet pass is still a thing for some reason. That's great. I don't think that one said under pressure. Pretty sure it was just the inaccurate bullet pass. The throw is just not good because of uh, the type of throw he went with. Because that happens. Kayvon Wallace played that so well. I feel like he was the main reason that was a that was a sack. Fletcher Cox, though, making the play. But Kayvon Wallace, I think, took away like two options for Fitzpatrick right there. And he kind of just uh, was a little flustered. And Fletcher Cox, big Cox got back there. Best saying you can go with. <laughs> with, with this team it's so funny watching eagles games because they always say the announcers always will say big fletcher cox and they're gonna mess up once like i haven't heard it yet it probably has happened but like you absolutely need to say fletcher right so it, it's gonna it's gonna happen at some point dallas goddard gonna catch this drag not bad go out of bounds save a timeout Miles Sanders directly up the middle. He's going to stiff arm a defender as well. Keep going out to the Eagles logo. And Bobby McCain's going down. I didn't actually know he was on this team. But all right. That saves a timeout for us as well. All right, looking at a third down and one. I'm going to call this pass. Miles Sanders, I think, will have this first down. He absolutely does get slammed forward, but I'll take it. We're going to hurry up. That doesn't take off that much time. 
And let's look for Devontae Smith here, potentially. If I wait a second, he can get open. Devontae Smith! He's not going to make that catch. Oh my god, he got so close to it. 13 seconds left. I think we definitely still have enough time for another shot to the end zone, potentially. Going to look towards Dallas Goddard, the big man. See if he can make a play. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. I'll throw it up to him. Dallas Goddard's going to make the catch. That wasn't even close to being like a one-on-one -on -one contested catch. I don't know why that was so simple. All right, questionable celebration, but do whatever you want to do, Dallas Goddard. <laughs> but 28-3. Uh, to 3, Pretty sure this all but seals us losing this game right now. If the curse of the, of the score is correct, we will certainly lose this game. <laughs> but in all actuality, the game's going really well. So we need the team just to continue playing this well. Okay, the defense has been doing well. The offense has been doing its thing. Let's keep it going. I, th I feel like we can win this one. I changed up the offensive focus to throwing it medium. I honestly forgot what I chose as the offensive focus. I thought I initially chose throw it medium, and I wanted to keep it the same. But then I remembered. I think I chose blitz counter. So we did change it. I didn't actually mean to, but whatever. We're going to change it to throw it medium. Now, I don't really think I'm going to pass the ball all that much in this second half. I'm going to try not to. Ideally, I shouldn't have to. But here we go. First play of the second half. It's going to be a play action. Going to watch this guy. Logan Thomas, you're not catching this one. It's going to be another one-on-one -on -one jump ball. Darius Slay, make a play on this football. That was so nearly intercepted. And also bruised ribs for Adams. We're going to substitute, whatever. But Terry McLaurin kind of looking like Julio Jones out there, preventing an interception. Playing defense when he's the he's the wide receiver. Rolls reverse there. It's going to be a run play. Antonio Gibson taking it for a gain. That's actually J.D. McKissick, my fault. Taking it for a gain of four. Wait, why is he in the game right now? Is Antonio Gibson injured or is J.D. McKissick actually just like the third down back? I mean, McKissick isn't a bad receiving back by any means, but Antonio Gibson's really good. I figured he would be... Okay, that's a drop. Oh, I don't know how that one does not get caught. I'd be pissed off about Ryan Fitzpatrick there, but I was going to say, I, I, you would imagine Antonio Gibson would still be the third down back, even with J.D. McKissick on this team. Oh, what a ball there. Did he not catch that? Oh my god, you can't tell me that one did not get caught. What a throw by Jalen Hurts. What? Quez Watkins. Did he not catch that? What? Oh my god. Look how close that is, dude. <laughs> he got his left foot down for sure. Just like the right pinky toe is on the line. That is so unlucky. What a throw. What a good effort as well. Can't really blame Quez Watkins for that one. That was so close. All right, kind of just want to take off here. Pick up this block. You're going to get it well enough. That's a fumble still. How do they not fix that? How is that still such a huge issue in Madden? I hate that so much, dude. Just every time you get tackled when you're running with a quarterback, there's like an 80% chance you fumble the football, regardless of who your quarterback is. Just out of curiosity, what is the carrying of Jalen Hurts? Okay, 56. That is putrid. Makes a little bit more sense. But it feels like it's just the case with whatever quarterback you use. And I hate it so much, man. That's going to be a pass breakup. Okay. Good pass breakup there by Darius Slay. But, you know, quarterbacks in real life, they slide to avoid a hit. To avoid an injury. Not to avoid fumbling. At least for the most part. I'm pretty sure they really just slide to avoid getting injured. Because you don't want to take an unnecessary hit, right? That's a sack. Great play there. Let's go. Who was that? Milton Williams, he gets back there, continuing his really good rookie season. But in Madden, right, I'm going to continue on this rant. In Madden, you slide to avoid a fumble. Also kind of avoiding injury, but mainly to avoid a fumble. And it's so annoying, man. I hate that you have to do that. I probably should have slid there. Like, I know this is a thing, so I absolutely should have slid. That's on me. And somehow another sack there. Ryan Fitzpatrick taking way too long. Brandon Graham making it fourth and 27. So, like, the turnover doesn't really matter. It's still frustrating. I'm sorry for the rant. Had to do it. This game isn't good gameplay wise. I'm not gonna not gonna sugarcoat it. It's an upgrade in general. Like the whole game I think is a pretty huge upgrade over Madden 21 just because of how horrible Madden 21 was. But just saying, you know, sometimes you gotta let it out, gotta complain. I'm gonna look for Dallas Goddard right here. He's actually not as open as I would like. There's a player too close to him. Circle was definitely open. I just never saw him. We're gonna blitz at a perfect time there. Loss of two for JD McKissick. 
And I think Antonio Gibson is just injured because JD McKissick has pretty much been the running back for this whole entire quarter so far. Ryan Fitzpatrick could go down again and he's going to. Fletcher Cox once again getting back there, dude. We have, I think, six sacks today. I'd say that's a pretty good game from this D-line. Also, pretty good coverage right now. Ryan Fitzpatrick is taking so much time in the pocket, and he's going down pretty much every time. This ball could be picked off. It's not going to be. Darius Slay gets his hands on it, and Ryan Fitzpatrick continues this nightmare of a performance. All right, please give me time. I think Quez Watkins can get open. I'm just going to go over here for now. He might be open in the end. I think he's open now. Quez Watkins, make this catch. Redeem yourself. Let's go, Quez Watkins. Way to redeem yourself there. All right, if we need like five or six yards, you know who I'm looking at on this play. And he's going to be open again. Devontae Smith is so automatic on that play, it's crazy. I don't know how he always gets separation. It doesn't even really seem to matter what defense they go with either. Dallas Goddard, get open, please. I don't like him that much at all. He got bumped a lot when he was running his route, and I had to kind of look around elsewhere, so... Uh, I didn't really like anyone else I was looking at. So we're just going to take the field goal. It's fine. 31-3. to At least the curse scoreline is over with. Oh my god, Terry McLaurin. That was so disrespectful. <laughs> just punched Darius Slay straight in the face. What kind of throw was that? That was an incredible throwing animation. Not going to work out. Fourth and five. Quez Watkins is really open here with a lot of speed as well. Quez Watkins grabbing that first down. He's having a pretty good game right now. Definitely his best game of the season. I think he's like 5 for 50. Yeah, 5 for 57. Not bad at all. Jalen Rager making a catch here. Also going to stiff arm and hurdle the same man. <laughs> that was a really cool play. Let's go, Jalen. Entering the fourth quarter. Washington has three points. Seems like we're doing pretty well then. Miles Sanders is going to fumble, though. And that gets recovered um, by Washington. I'd love to see, like, how many times I fumbled on offense and uh, what the percentage is of the times it was recovered by the defense. It seems like a lot. It seems like at least 90%. All right, third and goal. See if we can prevent them from getting a touchdown today. That is not going to happen. JD McKissick somehow knew that ball was coming. Don't think he was looking towards his quarterback, but it's all good. <laughs> Bro, what a throw. What a catch by Devontae Smith. This team is so good right now. Matthew Ioannidis going down with an injury. That's not great for them. Jalen Rager is going to be open for another touchdown. Why not rub it in their face? It's a divisional rival. Pretty sure this one's over. So, honestly, I think I'm just going to simulate to the end of this. There is no way they come back from this. 38-17, to 17, they scored one more touchdown. Okay, the team was incredible today. We did, like, nothing wrong. I will take this. 324 yards for Jalen Hurts, three touchdowns, zero picks. I'm getting the hang of this whole passing thing. I say that now, but next season I'm going to throw, like, 50 interceptions again. Uh, Miles Sanders, 30 for 116. Kenneth Gainwell was pretty horrible in relief, but it's fine. A touchdown for Miles Sanders there. 9 for 100 for Devontae Smith and a touchdown. 6 for 70 for Dallas Goddard and a score. Jalen Rager, 4 for 64 and a touchdown. 4 sacks allowed today and 3 pancakes. Let's go. 7 tackles for Davion Taylor. 4 tackles for loss for Josh Sweat with 3 sacks. 2 sacks for Fletcher Cox. A couple other guys with 1. 2 picks for Avante Maddox. This one was over so early. <laughs> All right, that is going to do it then for the regular season. Next time, it is going to be the off-season video. I am super excited to get into that one. I will be spending all the experience points probably next time, maybe the time after that when uh, we actually advance to the next season. I'm not going to spend the experience points right now. And at least we're ending on a W here, right? It's never bad when you're doing that. Maybe we can actually end on a W and beat the uh, Cowboys the last game of the season. Probably won't happen, but you never really know with simulation in this game. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys tune in next time for the off-season video. Those are my favorites to make, and it seems like they are some of the favorites for you guys to watch, uh, so that's always great. Thanks one more time for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. This is where the